peace demon world at this time i am nicole monique pace the queen empress shadow priestess esoteric soul star and i'm here to keep this reality <laughs> i don't know why i'm laughing i'm here to keep this roman reality current in world war three <laughs> agape and infinite gratitude to this soul family constellation i appreciate us okay today is moon day monday april 4th 2022 the sun is currently 14 degrees into the aryan archetype all right to every single aries out here acknowledging a star day today peace and more power to you and all of your individual missions as i greatly appreciate your service to us all thank you aries all right now 14 degrees aries is fixed star alpharats which is freedom love of movement speed intellectual and can indicate riches and honors the personality often has strong motivation willfulness and the ability to take action those with this placement often come before the public and are popular with the masses there is a considerate and harmonious nature, which is good for relationships. At the top of the moon's hour, 6.34 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, the moon is currently 21 degrees into the Taurian archetype. This degree in fixed signs, such as Taurus, has a tendency toward misfortune. This is what the Sabian symbols have to say about 21 degrees Taurus. A finger pointing in an open book. Careful discrimination of wisdom. A balance must be found between receiving guidance and self-determination of wisdom. Balancing guidance with self-determination. Seeking guidance, it is sometimes helpful to use the oracular function, sacred text, by opening such a book at, a ran at random, for example, and intuitively discovering personal meaning in a line. Yet, taken too far, this can create an over-dependence and diminish self-reliance so that personal will and freedom of choice are inappropriately sacrificed. It's hitting real good. It's, listen, it be hitting these Sabian symbols. But anyway, let's stay current. Check our alignment and talk aspects okay we are in waxing moon energy and it's time to refine things in preparation for this upcoming full moon in libra okay and this may be an especially good thing to do to chill out today and do some refining because first up we are going to talk about some pretty hard energies with the moon in taurus squared up with mars venus and saturn in aquarius all right so the moon in taurus influences reactions and responses love emotional assimilation and general overall mood to be materialistic traditional comfortable sensual reliable talent and personal possession oriented and cautious mars influences one's passions and aggressions inspired action and drive venus influences attraction value and refinement and saturn influences restriction collective karmic rectification duty and societal operations now three these three planetary energies are in aquarius so that's about humanity individualism rebellion the future the paranormal ingenuity intellect personal perspective and uniqueness okay Squares are external conflicts in which the individual is challenged to rectify these energies, thereby building character and mastery. Be aware today of external obstacles and difficulties that may arise between feeling, loving, and reacting in a way that is comfortable, persistent, materialistic, and traditional against 
passions and aggressions, inspired actions, attractions, values, duty, restrictions, and societal operations that all relate to anything around humanity, individualism, rebellion, the future, and into intellectual logistics. Okay, so let's see what the tarot says. There's information or some other type of communication coming in that brings lots of success and wealth with it. The person receiving it is doing their best to transmute deep emotional pain. This pain comes from a very intimate connection and in some way it's affected their confidence with attraction uh, creativity and or business. Okay. This could have also been a friendship circle or a small community that, you know, has been afflicting this person, um, within this community or friendship or whatever it was, um, there was covert jealousy, um, aggressive competition and deception around wealth and or dedication. All right. This was a very pain, you know, this situation was very painful for this person, but realizing that trust was broken, this person, you know, likely in separation right now, um, focus their manifestation on their authentic ideal life. All right. And that's within a more aligned family and or community. This person is carrying a lot right now, but they don't see this surprise that's coming. Like whatever this is coming in, this person may also be shocked to find that the same person or persons crowd, whatever that they're in separation from tries to come back around when this happens. The universe says no matter what, this person is a true leader that is able to navigate the path to success through discernment. This person's path to security may likely also be publicized as an example to others. Next up is Moon and Taurus, Sextile, Neptune, and Jupiter in Piscean. All right, so Neptune influences one to remove delusions and societal constraints, activating spiritual vision to materialize one's ideal. Jupiter influences personal expansion. Then subsequently, fortune is determined through the application of wisdom of one's personal experiences. So in Pisces, that's going to be about spirituality, artistic, creative expression, philanthropy, what's hidden particularly enemies, right? The psyche, manifestation, and idealism. Be aware today of opportunities to authentically co-create with another person, place, or thing, considering feelings, love, and emotional assimilations that have particular core values, materialistic, sensual, and reliable, with realistic ideals, wisdom, and experiences that are related to spirituality, artistic expression, the psyche, and even hidden enemies. All right, so let's see what the tarot says. And this is going to sound weird, but it looks like someone is going to receive something that they have worked very hard for, but it's going to, you know, put them in a difficult spot. All right. This person is very likely to be a parent and or they dreamed of whatever this is since they've been a child. Um, there appears to be um, a very unexpected choice this person is making or sudden um, this person believes the one that they're leaving behind is unsuccessful and or there's lies around someone's ability to authentically support themselves. Um, I don't know if this is real or not. I don't know if there's actually lies or it's just that this person feels that they'll just be better off financially leaving behind this particular person. The one with the decision isn't telling the other party about you know, this or just not the full truth, but in some way the other party knows. Okay. And it's weird because this is an authentic partnership. Um, but the one that decided, you know, you know, um, it's, it's weird because, you know, what, for whatever reason, they just decided to cut this person out. Okay. But no matter what, what's clear is that according to the party with the options, they believe that they're disconnecting from a toxic partnership. So I don't know. The universe says for whatever it's hidden for, someone here is protected, um, and is a true authority, uh, authoritative figure. Although the situation is tricky, intuition will be helpful transitioning into a new life 
space. Um, this choice could also have to do with some kind of public event, all right? The universe is highlighting the importance of emotional security and perseverance at this time. On to our spiritualist fuck card of the day. Holding on to resentment is like taking a shit in your own heart. Yeah, it's that gross and pointless. Let that shit go. Looking, look up a loving kindness meditation on the internet and do it. Focusing on love is like taking a baby wipe to your heart. All right, that is what I have for you at this time. Please stay spiritually strapped out here. Don't get washed under the current. And I will talk to you soon. Peace.